Here we're going to talk about symmetry and absorption of light. We said previously that uh, to describe absorption of light we calculated a transition dipole moment and that gives uh, rise to either an absorption or not just based on that. Let's write down what the transition dipole moment was. Uh, that was calculated as this quantity, the integral over all space of the complex conjugate of the final state times the dipole moment operator times the wave function of the initial state d tau. Now remember when we're talking about, for example, Hermit polynomials and integral of odd and even functions and so on, we can use that kind of symmetry argument to argue whether this will have to be zero or not. Let's look at the dipole moment operator. That is equal to E times R, the R operator. This is an odd function. Recall that if um, just look in uh, two dimensions, in three dimensions it would also hold. Um, so this would be uh, R vector here. And if we uh, we have a center of inversion and now if we take the R vector and put it into the center of inversion and go over here everything becomes negative. Okay, so that's an odd function. It has a center of inversion. That was one of the ways we defined an odd function. So that means if the um, final uh, well, let's write down this table here and see what is what. So here's final. This is the dipole moment operator. Here's the initial. All right. So we know that this is odd all the time. So we have uh, two or four cases actually. If this is even. And if this is even, we have this is even and this is odd this would be odd and this would be even and this would be even oh no I guess we already did that one uh, this would be odd and this would be odd now if we multiply these together the product will here will be odd the product here will be even the product here will be even and the product here will be odd so if um, you have an odd, well always the dipole moment operator is odd, but then if you have even initial and final states, this means that uh, the transition dipole moment will be zero, and that means you'll have no absorption. Same way here for this odd, the integral over all space of an odd function is zero, so the transition dipole moment here will be zero and you have no absorption. Here it will necessarily be zero and therefore you can't have an absorption. But for an even odd even combination or for an odd 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 combination integration over all space it will give you zero. Let's talk in more general about symmetry. So we have mu transition dipole moment is this integral uh, final integral of space dipole moment operator initial this is equal to zero unless the irreducible or the representation in symmetry of this integral contains the a1 symmetry and that's an argument we had when we talked about the uh, implications of symmetry that unless this integrand has a1 it's equal to zero. So if we have um, if this final and initial have certain symmetries which they will and this then will have a certain symmetry also in respect to, with respect to some point group we can figure out whether this will have the a1 symmetry and if it does then it doesn't have to be zero but if it does not contain a1 this integral will have to be zero and if it's zero, this implies you have no absorption from symmetry considerations. So you can use either the uh, odd-even argument to see whether the transition dipole will be zero, 
or a more general symmetry argument, or whether the reducible representation contains an A1 irreducible representation.